What's up, everybody? Welcome to MCE. As always, I'm George, and this is the Collecting You segment where I talk about statues and collectibles that I found throughout the week and put it all in a fun and condensed format for you guys. Today, as always, we have my brother John, the other half of the MCE team, on the chats. Hey, guys. So make sure you guys are chatting with him, asking questions, and uh, and getting into it. So, um, yeah. So what's going on, bro? Ah, man, it's been a, a rough week this week. Very, very busy, but, uh, you know, it's always good to be busy, right? Yeah. For true, mm, true, what about true. you, man? Anything nice? Uh, yeah, you know, we had uh, MYCC that started this week, so yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's been keeping me pretty busy. Absolutely. Um, got a little bit of break today, and I was able to check out the new TV show um, Star Trek uh, Discovery. If you guys haven't been watching that, that's pretty dope. Uh, Did different. you ever catch Gifted? I didn't get a chance to catch that. The yet, Gifted man. was good. I liked it. I was pretty upset with the on demand about that. I was like, I'm trying to find the show to watch it over, and it's like I have to wait till Saturday. Seriously? Yeah, it's nuts. That's stupid. Right? Yeah, I'm not thinking that. But Discovery was dope. Yeah. I, I got through the first episode that was on there, and um, it's 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 different. It's not like uh, uh, Star Trek like we've seen uh, in the past, like Star Trek uh, Next Generation or even the original. It, this one definitely feels a lot more like uh, Star Wars. They tend to focus a little bit more on one character, um, and I'm enjoying it. It's pretty pretty cool. So, um, yeah. So that's about it. Um, yeah. Anything else? Um, personal wise, no, man. No. Ready to, I'm ready to see what you got for me this week, bro. What kind of right. uh, announcements and pre-orders? I'm excited, man. What you All got? right. So let's get into it. Start this. All right. So uh, up for pre-orders this week. Uh, this is the Hot Toys uh, Boba Fett. This is the animated character based on the uh, the Star Wars, uh, I think it was a Christmas special that they had that he appeared in. Um, the Fett. Yeah. I actually saw this one uh, recently, you know, again, just to remind myself about it when I saw this figure because I, I wasn't really quite sure. When I saw it, if this was that character, and it was. Uh, Boba Fett was definitely different in that animated cartoon than he is in the movies. Uh, I like the character from the movie way better. I hope they don't ever bring this type of character into the movies. Uh, but as far as the figure goes, I think it's actually kind of cool. I like the design of the suit, um, and uh, it's, it's different, you know? What do you think about it? Wasn't he green? That's what I'm saying. This is based on the animated version. It's not the movie version. Mm. Uh, there was a, a, a short that uh, came out, uh, and it's infamous because it's got really bad acting in it. Uh, <laughs> but you know, it's it's uh, you know part of Star Wars history. So you know, these are the different uh, items that it comes with. Uh, you well, can get the gun or the staff here. Well, I'm absolutely cool. a Fett fan, bro. So yeah, you know. I can, I'm wondering. I can, accept the blue. I can accept the blue. In the movie, in the cartoon, he was riding this monster, and I'm wondering if they're gonna bring the uh, the monster in it uh, or give us that. That'd be kind of cool to have him riding it. I think that'd be a little neat addition there. All right, and then this week, uh, this is gonna be, this came out. Uh, this is the uh, Batwoman uh, art print. Uh, there's 300 of these made. Very beautiful looking piece. It is. You know, very. It I is. love the dramatic lighting that they chose to put into it, and this. You know the the contrast between the blue in the back and then this uh, you know orangey fire at the bottom, which I think is real nice. The red really pushes against that that blue, really cool. Yeah, no, I was uh, I was talking with Roy in our in the Marvelous Statues group about this picture. Um, definitely amazing. Um, we were chatting about the fact that uh, uh, the costs of the prints are so high, respectively, to the statues. They and, are. Um, we're, he was thinking it's mostly about the frame. Either way, very nice artwork. I, you know, I can't really uh, uh, complain about it, um, except other than the price. Yeah, you know, it definitely. I would wait uh, to to because I know that Sideshow after they initially release it with the uh, art print, right? And this one goes for two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, but the you know, if they don't sell out, then they'll release just the print uh, by itself without the frame, and it's usually a lot less. Which mm -hmm. uh, that's the way I would do it and just get it framed myself. Uh, but definitely a beautiful looking piece. Uh, for all you guys who are into pop figures, we had uh, a few pop pops heads. that uh, came out this past week. Uh, this is the these are there's a lot of them actually you know for New York Comic Con. Uh, this one here is the Dragon Zord. Uh, this one was available uh, through uh, Hot Topic and also at uh, um, New York Comic Con. Uh, really cool looking piece. This one sold out quickly. Uh, definitely one that's being sought after right now from what I heard. Uh, this one was only available at New York Comic Con. This is the um, Abominable Snowman. This is uh, from the uh, Disneyland uh, ride. It actually released uh, earlier this year, uh, I think a few months back. Uh, only available at Disneyland. Uh, now at uh, New York Comic Con, they have it flocked. Uh, so that means that it's got like a um, like a textured, soft appearance or, or uh, feel to it. Uh, mm. So real cool. 
this one was my favorite that came out. This is the Black Chrome Batman. I actually picked this one up. Uh, could <laughs> not pass on this one. <laughs> Uh, really cool. This one was available from uh, again at New York Comic Con, but it was also available at Barnes and Noble. Uh, I got up stupid early in the morning to make sure I was able to get this one because I, I think this one pretty cool. Missed out on the blue one that came out during San Diego Comic Con. And this is my favorite pre-order of the week. Uh, this is the uh, Spider Gwen. Uh, definitely a nice looking piece. Uh, a lot of my friends that were at uh, New York Comic Con got to see it up close and personal, and we'll take a look at it there any announcements. Uh, very beautiful looking uh, uh, piece here. Uh, the initially when I saw the look of this one from the from the teaser uh, that came out, I was kind of afraid of that face. Uh, but I think that Sideshow killed it. Looks real nice. Uh, very much digging it. Uh, the exclusive is running four hundred and twenty-five dollars. Not too bad for uh, for a one-fifth scale piece. Um, loving all these details, like what they did here in the soles of the shoes. Uh, very nice. You know, the only thing that I feel they could have done a little bit better was maybe use a little more matted paint here on the white, you know, given instead of making it so glossy, kind of makes it look like a porcelain doll. And then the other thing is that the only available through the exclusive is the mask, which I think is ridiculous. You know, mm -hmm. Sideshow should, that, that's, you know, part of her signature look. I think that that should be part of the, um, the overall uh, statue. Shouldn't be something that we have to pay extra for. Right. Um, but, you know, really nice looking piece. Uh, uh, this one's like Spider-Man without a mask. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not, I'm not into that. That doesn't make any sense to me. But she's due out between June and August of uh, 2018. So if you guys are interested in getting her, she's available now. Uh, so that's it for the pre-orders that I felt were okay. There really wasn't that many that came out this, uh, this week. Uh, the end of the week, I mean, I think it's mostly due to uh, New York Comic Con and Shanghai Comic Con going on at the same time. Uh, so if you guys are interested in any of the other pre-orders that I found throughout the week, they're always available at the uh, the uh, shop, page. shop page over at the on our Facebook page. Uh, you just come here and you click on the shop now button, and that'll bring you to this page here where you can see all of the different pre-orders that have come out, and it'll bring you right to the to the actual pages where you can pick them up. So you know definitely you guys should check that out. If you're interested in any of the ones that I spoke about in the in this episode, you can uh, check the links at the in the description below. I left that there for you guys to get to them directly. All right, so announcements. So this one here is the biggest announcement, uh, in my opinion, the one that made me uh, excited. Uh, this is the Iron Man Mark III maquette. I saw this one at San Diego Comic Con. It is going it is now at New York Comic Con, and people are getting a chance to see it out uh, here on the East Coast. Uh, this was an amazing looking uh, statue. I'm very pumped about this one. I'm absolutely going to pre-order this one. Uh, you know, unless they, it comes and tells me that this thing is like, you know, $2,000, which if that's the case, then <laughs> I'm going to have to pass. I'll be really upset if that's the case, but mm, that's uh, nice. it is a big piece. Uh, it's a, it's a quarter scale statue. How uh, big? It's pretty big. I, I, I didn't get a chance to measure it because at, at San Diego Comic-Con, it's behind a glass. Mm. So you kind of just have to go on it. But I, I want to say he's real close to the size of uh, Batman over there, uh, the XM Studio Batman. Mm. Uh, so uh, he, he's got, and, and then the base is cool because it has like uh, um the Iron Monger that he fought in the first movie. This is based on the Iron Man from the first uh, Iron Man movie. This is why I like it as much as I do. Uh, so, really cool. Definitely going to get that one. So, that comes out this week, Thursday. Batwoman also comes out this week, Thursday. I know a lot of people are uh, pumped about this one. I think it is a very fantastic looking piece. Uh, really dig the multiple, uh, the, the different textures that they have going on here. You know, you got these smooth areas and these textured areas here, which, you know, really push. And the color is amazing. Yeah, the color is just you know pops off that yeah. page right now, bro. Yeah, she's very pretty. Really like this one. And then oh, this one, Tiger. Yeah. Oh, cut. Uh, <laughs> Gat is awesome. Yeah, this is from Pulp Culture Shock, uh, coming out uh, here October sixteenth. Uh, this is a massive piece. We're gonna look at a couple pictures of him at New York Comic Con. Uh, I think they did a fantastic job on this one. Uh, everything about it looks amazing. Did you uh, see those back muscles on this dude? Yeah, man? we're gonna look at that. We're gonna look at that. I'm gonna ahead of yourself here, bro. Okay. Okay. All right, and then this is going. This is an announcement that came from uh, Prime One Studios, uh, Shang in Shanghai uh, Comic Con. They announced the new Batman Ninja movie that's going to be uh, coming out. It's an animated movie. Uh, waiting, you know, looking forward to seeing that. Saw a little bit of the artwork that they showed, and I think that looks pretty cool. Um, so this, they announced that they're going to be coming out with uh, quarter scale statues based on that uh, anime. So looking forward to seeing what that that looks like in, uh, as soon as it comes out. All right, New York Comic Con. Uh oh. So this is uh, uh, Aspen. Uh, this is from the comic book Fathom, uh, and uh, this was drawn by an artist named uh, Michael Turner. Um, 
the I think this is an extremely beautiful piece, extremely beautiful. Actually, before I get into saying all the things about what I saw at New York Comic Con as far as pictures go, let me give a big shout out to the guys that made it possible for all of us who didn't get a chance to go to uh, New York Comic Con. So I want to give a big shout out to Jose Rodriguez, Brandon Guerrero, Jan Rest uh, Restrepo, and uh, Christian Hernandez. Uh, I've been looking around for images all over the place and you guys keep pump, uh, coming up on Facebook with uh, these pictures and you guys did an amazing job so big thanks to you guys for all the help um, so back to this again this is uh, Aspen uh, I think she is the star as far as the uh, female sculpt skull uh, at the show uh, beautiful uh, she does not look like the Michael Turner art but I think they did an amazing job I love this water effect you know that is absolutely stunning they did an amazing job with this piece beautiful colors uh you know and all the curves you know i love that so uh, very very nice piece love this detail more images here of the water and then what i like too is that you have this uh this clear uh effect here that then it kind of like fades into the actual uh statue which i think is real nice on the body so really looking forward to seeing this one or how, see how much this one's going to cost when it comes up for pre-order mm-hmm all right, and this is the uh, vixen of the show here. This is uh, the J. Scott Campbell Little Mermaid, uh, based on the um, uh, the Wasn't fantasies. <laughs> this is the fantasies. Uh, I think I might have hit. I think I might have hit puberty Fairy tale faster. Fantasies. I think I might have hit puberty faster if I saw her <laughs> when I was a kid, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty hot version of her. This is definitely not your your kid's version of this beautiful looking piece. Um, sideshow, you know, because of the lighting, it's hard to see, but they, they mentioned that there's actually some uh, painted freckles, you know, on the cheeks and on the shoulders, uh, just like that uh, J. Scott Campbell's art. He was actually at the show. Uh, sideshow uh, was checking this uh, one out, and he just appeared. I'm sure that wasn't planned at all. <laughs> but, yeah, real cool that he showed up. That's very neat. Beautiful looking piece, you know. Curious to see how many people are looking to get this one, only because... I mean, I, I like it. I like it a lot, but uh, I don't know that, that this is something that I could have on my shelf. I'm, I'm thinking my wife would probably say, hell no. Uh, so, <laughs> right? This, uh, the fins are in a clear uh, resin, so you can actually see through it, which I think is a real nice effect. It's great. That's a piece. Yeah, it's great. Real great. Yeah. A couple more shots there. My booty. booty. All right. Oh. And this is Wolverine. Uh, so Wolverine, this is... Definitely one of my favorite pieces of the show. Uh, I saw this one at San Diego Comic-Con, and I liked it when it wasn't painted, and I like it even more now that it is painted. A uh, beautiful-looking take on this one. Uh, this is based, I think, on the Astonishing X-Men. I'm real sure it is. I think it's just a little bit of a different flavor. If you guys don't know what the Astonishing X-Men looks like uh, for Wolverine, this is the suit. Uh, so it looks very much like this. Um, but, you know, they added a little bit differences here by making the uh, chest, you know, come out here a little bit more. Uh, digging the details uh, I like the mass portrait better than the unmasked portrait uh, but I really like the texture work that's going on throughout the whole suit and then you know in his face I mean you can even see like the pores in his I mean, skin yeah bro that that the unmasked I mean it's hard to choose between the two because this unmasked piece looks just you know extremely detailed yeah. um, you know I mean you look at his teeth bro his teeth look so sharp like yeah. he's about to bite you bro I think <laughs> they did they did a great job on it man um, you know, the I, I heard this from another guy, and, and I kind of agree with him uh, that you know he felt that the uh, blue area should have been left smooth uh, in contrast with the texture in the yellow, which you know that would have been cool. I agree, that looks nice, but I don't think that this takes away from anything on this statue. Is the mask on this one uh, exclu just for the exclusive, or does it come with both? I hope not. If they do that, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I mean, that is that's ridiculous. And I see now they're going to start charging me for each claw of Wolverine. That's going to be nuts. I just, no. Um, you know, he comes on a sentinel hand, uh, which I think is awesome. Uh, he is a little bit played out. You know, there is a lot of Wolverines uh, and a lot of the X-Men on sentinel hands. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, this is another chance for people that didn't get the XM Studio version to get this one. And I think this one looks actually better than the XM Studio version. There's a lot of the Wolverine statues that I've seen that come out that I'm not really digging the face. And I think that uh, Sideshow finally nailed it with this one. I mean, the, the vein work in the arms, you know, and the claws are, they look amazing. I mean, the, the whole suit looks fantastic. I think they did a good job with the sculpting of the hair here. I know people have been comparing it to the XN Weapon X, but uh, I know 
you know, we look at it as just two different pieces. I look at it as two different pieces. I think that the, the Weapon X statue should be kept in a caliber of its own. You know, it's done by Daniel Bell. It's an amazing piece in itself. It and cool. it's a different version of, uh, of Wolverine. You know, if you're going to compare the Wolverine statues, I would compare them to their like, you know, pieces. So, you know, brown suit with a brown suit, blue suit with a blue suit. Um, so, and then, you know, the Weapon X ones. I think the Weapon X from XM Studios is hands down the best uh, um, Wolverine character. character there or type of uh, statue that you can get your hands on if you can. Beautiful looking piece. But this one here is, is amazing. I really like it. So, I mean, Wolverine is one of your favorite characters, but it's hard to really go wrong, yeah. right? <laughs> All right. And this is the Spider-Verse. This is uh, Spider-Gwen. Uh, again, Spider Gwen looks amazing. I really like the way that she came out. Love that that base is uh, having her on a uh, street sign, which is cool. I like how they have that Broadway. Really pushes that whole when you were in New York. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, digging great. it. Looks great. Real good piece. I know you she know? looks uh, you know, very, you know, very feminine, even though strong. You know. Yeah, because she has like a gymnast type of body, mm -hmm. and I think they yeah, did a good right, job right. of making that. So you know, very nice, very nice looking piece. And then these are the three that come with it. So you have uh, Silk, and then you have also Spider Man. So no. I, I don't never heard of the the one on the right. Silk. What is that again? Her name is Silk. Silk. So it's part of the Spider Verse. Also, it's in a different uh, Earth. Um, she had she and Spider Man, from what I remember in the comics, have an attraction to each other, and they can't control it. So uh, that's that's kind of neat about yeah. them. I like the suit. Um, I like the mask. <laughs> and I like the mask. Yeah, yeah. bro. She's Hispanic, bro. She's like a little bandana. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Silk looks beautiful. I think it's another great addition to uh, this collection of the Spider-Verse. Really dig it. Again, they did the same thing with all the texture work they did with uh, Spider-Gwen on this one. You know, here like in the shoes. You can see that. And they got very similar bases, which is really cool because, you know, that works with keeping them in a the set. Now, Spider-Man is a whole other story. Uh, I feel that that they kind of dropped the ball a little bit with Spider-Man. Uh, I think that the statue itself looks really cool. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Alex Ross art. So, you know, if you're a big fan of him, uh, you know, you can uh, get that. Uh, but I'm not digging this base. You know, the base doesn't fit with the with the rest of the line. Um, and I really wish that they would have put a little bit of thought into how us collectors would display these characters together if they're all in one set. Uh, so, I mean, this, this webbing just, I don't know. Looks like a flower. Yeah, it doesn't look right. You know, it just it doesn't look right, especially when you when you have them sitting next to the others. Spider Man himself looks good. You know, it's like one of those webs. From, uh, it's like they took a plant from um, the Avatar movie. <laughs> yeah, and I think that what's happening here is that they're coming out with with the same characters quite often, and they're running out, or we're running out of ideas to display these guys. You know, you know, we've had Spider Man on a wall. We've had Spider Man jumping over things. You know, we have him now swinging around a pole. So they're running out of ideas of ways to, to display this guy. In which, you know, if that's the case, you know, let's move on and make a different version of Spider-Man. You know? Ian said he looks like he's look he's sitting on a load. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. And, and it doesn't fit well with the other characters, which is what bugs me the most, you know. So, and then what's the deal with the pizza in, in the newspaper in the, uh, in the webbing? I'm, I'm not getting that. So, you know, whatever. All right, this is Oracle. This is okay. from uh, Masters of the Universe. There you go. Uh, very nice looking piece. Uh, the Masters of the Universe line, one of the best one-fifth scale lines that is going out there right now. Uh, very nice. I haven't seen one of them that I think is bad. They did a great job on them. And this is no other. Uh, this is a collaboration between Sideshow and uh, Tweeterhead. Uh, really liking the uh, pose that they chose to do with this guy. I think uh, that looks awesome, bro. It does. It brings you right back to the cartoons. Man. It does. It's really cool. They actually made this guy look cool because I don't remember him being cool in the uh, in the cartoon. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, they made him look very neat. Even know? even Geico's respected the old He-Man cartoon. Have you bro. seen that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Geico got some great commercials, man. Uh, yeah, nice texture work. Love the colors, man. Colors are nice and vibrant. Very beautiful piece. All right, so moving on to Hot Toys. Uh, this is the uh, Ray uh, Hot Toys uh, six scale figure uh, from the new uh, Star Wars: um, The Last Jedi movie. Uh, I think I love this piece. I think they did a great job with this uh, six scale uh, figure here. I think the portrait looks fantastic. Really can't wait to see uh, their, their portrayal of her in this in this latest movie. Uh, definitely, she's kicking up the hotness level for me. She's looking real good. Yeah, uh, JD was asking about um, the Last Jedi movie. Does he, do we think that? Uh, 
that uh, Luke's gonna be crossing over to the to the dark side. I don't know, man. I hope not. That'd be crazy, right? It would be crazy. That'd be right, a that'd be a cool next uh, the next piece, right? Yeah, It'd be the next piece. Luke with his red saber, bro. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, he's like, no, be. you can't do that to my Luke. <laughs> yeah, right. And this is old man Luke right here. Speaking of which, <laughs> you know, Ben Kenobi version of old of Luke. Uh, you know, this one's okay. I wouldn't say that, I, that this is. I mean, it's not my favorite of the two. Um, not a bad, real bad job on the portrait. Definitely better than I've seen in the past for uh, Mark Hamill. Um, texture work on the uh, outfit is nice. Uh, you know, not not too bad of a piece. I just I prefer the ray. So and that's them together. And then this one is Kylo Ren. I don't like Kylo Ren. Um, I didn't like Kylo Ren in the movie. Maybe that's my my reason for uh, um, for not liking him here. I mean, he killed my boy. You know, so I'm I'm not really digging that. Uh, big whiner of the uh, uh, you know, just like all the other Skywalkers. Uh, not 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 digging him at all. Didn't really dig this piece too much. I don't like the portrait that much. Um, yeah. So I'd rather if I was to get this one, I definitely would display him with the helmet. Oh. All right. So moving on to uh, pop culture shock. This is the one third scale Sagat. Uh, this thing is fantastic. Oh yeah. Fantastic. I think this is a knockout home run for pop culture shock. Beautiful looking artwork here. Um, I mean, just look at this face, man. This yeah, portrait dude. is amazing. Uh, and then the vein work and the muscles, the scar, the scar. I mean everything, man. It's just, it's just beautiful. Look at the detail on the toe nails, man. I'm saying well, that is sick. Might need a pedicure though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> love it. The bandages look dirty. I mean the the just all the shading, everything. It's just, I, I just like an awe when I see this piece. It's huge. This is a massive, massive one third scale uh, statue. So you know you better have the space for this thing if you're gonna Same. get it. The back muscles need a shelf. It's on its own, bro. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Beautiful sculpt, man. I was watching at the uh, PCS uh, uh, group page, you know, as they sculpted this and, and brought this uh, to development. And I mean, it's just it was awesome seeing the work that they they, they were doing. Yeah. Beautiful job, man. Agreed. All right, this is uh, Buki. I think is what her name is. Um, she's part also part of Street Fighter. Uh, this is a more newer version, uh, not a newer version, a, a, uh, this is beyond the point that I played Street Fighter, so that's why I'm not really familiar with this character. Um, but I think this is a fantastic looking piece also. I love the dynamic look for her. Um, you know, I love that base. The base is beautiful. That pink going on here, very vibrant. I love the contrast of it against this yellow. Uh, very beautiful looking piece. You know, and she's there in her combat mode there. Yeah, I'm saying. Beautiful. Even brought her pedal on to show to show yeah. she can whoop that ass. Yeah, very neat, very neat. Love the way the hair is flowing. Gives a nice dynamic look to her. Nice texture work here in the outfit. Yeah, they're killing it on the Street Fighter. All right, this is uh, a Kotobukiya. This is their um, New York Comic Con uh, reveals. Uh, this one is the Daredevil, and we got the black version of the Daredevil. I'm really liking that black suit. Mm -hmm. It looks really cool. Kotobukiya has some pretty nice stuff coming from the artifacts line. This is the Emperor. You know, we got a standing version. They did a, uh, a on-throne version earlier this year. You know, so very nice look for this. Nice texture work. Did a good job on the portrait, I think. Mm -hmm. And this is the uh, Batman. Uh, this is based on the new uh, comic that, that released that, that came out uh, this past year. Um, trying to think of any. Rebirth. Yeah, Rebirth. Like the suit. Like the pose. Like the way the cape's flowing. Nice job. I think it's a really, really good job here on this one. This is a, uh, a prototype still. They're just still in production for this one. Uh, this is one of the um, the stormtroopers or the first order troopers from the new movie from the from the Last Jedi. Mm. You know, not too bad. They're doing a good job on the sculpt. Yeah. This is the Spider Man that they have. Thought this was definitely noteworthy. This is based on the uh, movie version of the character. Which movie? Latest for movie, uh, Homecoming. Nice. Yeah. I nice. Shouldn't have should known that dumb question. Uh, <laughs> You know, but the the base is cool, but that you know I think they're kind of biting a little bit off of uh, sideshows, premium format there with that. But you know, very nice. All right, this is Ben Presto. Uh, this is uh, some of their Dragon Ball Z stuff that they had going trunks. on. Trunks, the trunks right there, bro. With his sword. It's cool, Super man. Saiyan sword right there. Very dynamic. Mm -hmm. I think they did a good job with this with this line here. Um, before we move on, uh, Ian Ian was asking about the. Uh, Emperor, what size was that for Code of Akia? The Artifacts line, I believe, is 1 8th. I'd have to look again to make sure, but I want to say that the Artifacts Plus line is 1 8th scale. Okay. Um, 
So I, I looked that up. I'll get, I'll get you. I get that to you, Ian. Um, and then, uh, so again, this is uh, Brand Presto's uh, 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 Dragon Ball Z line. Uh, I think they make some very dynamic looking stuff here. You know, from yeah, that Goku right there. Yeah, really cool, man. They bring out that uh, from. It looks just like it came right out of the the uh, cartoon. Freezer. Really nice stuff. Yeah. Very very cool. Now the trunks. Oh, uh, now that's one. that's from the original Goku's. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, my bad that's picture. when I first started watching it. <laughs> a little bit of a bad picture. Bad picture, but hey, that's awesome. All right, and this is uh, first for figures. So this is Alucard. Uh, it's kind of cool. This is from uh, Castlevania. Uh, reminds me very much of the classic Castlevania. Uh, guys, you don't know uh, Alucard is Dracula spelled backwards. Uh, yeah. which I think was interesting with what they chose to do with that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The detail in this is, is insane, man. First of Figures has been killing it this year. I'm doing a lot of good stuff from there. I uh, love the way the suit came out. And a very classic look for this guy. Very nice. And this is the Guts from uh, um, uh, from the Berserk line. Uh, huh? No, this is First of Figures. Oh. Very cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very cool. I like the uh, the, the whole dynamic feel of this piece. Uh, the Prime One Studio one is nice too, uh, but the Prime One Studio is more of just a um, kind of like a uh, museum style pose. He's kind of like standing there. Uh, this one shows him in combat. Uh, reminds me very much of the anime. Did a great job with the paint job. You know, very, uh, very, very good. good <laughs> work. Yeah, it's cool, man. Yeah, no, it's I mean, amazing. Very cool. Love the texture work. Great job, guys. First yeah. one figures. Very, very nice. Oh, that purple, and it just jumps out. Very cool. And this is from, uh, I believe, the game Dark Souls. Dark Souls? Yeah, I didn't play this game. Uh, this is a Dragon Hunter. Ooh. Very awesome-looking suit, you know. Um, I need to... makes me want to play the game, uh, just to see what this is all about. Uh, but, you know, very cool. Again, real nice texture work. Very, very neat. And this is their Zero uh, from Mega Man. Uh, this is cool too. Yeah, definitely. very nice looking piece. Um, you know they they're in competition here right next to uh, uh, what do you call it? HMO Collectibles is going to be coming out with theirs also, uh, mm. which I'm kind of waiting to see what that looks like. We got our Mega Man's coming. Yeah, we got our Mega Man's coming from there. So yeah, I like yeah. to probably match that together with them. Uh, but this is a really cool option. You know, for those of you guys who missed out on the HMO, um, very nice work here. So, and this one, man, this one was the star of, I think, of, of the show. We hadn't seen this until uh, this week. Um, this is Bowser from uh, um, uh, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, beautiful looking piece, man. I think this yeah. thing looks so beastly. Love the colors. Love the look. Uh, that flame lights up. Uh, so that's really cool, too. Very, uh, very cool. You know, nice little reminder here of, uh, of the original Super Mario Brothers. Very, very cool. Beautiful looking color work. I love that green, man. That green is nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, man. That's, that's, yeah. Bring me right back to the game, man. Yeah, like this, very cool. you know, it's where a lot of, or at least us young guys started with. <laughs> right. And I'm not even young anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And this is, uh, uh the Shovel Knight. Um, the gun, a game I didn't play. Uh, but very cool and interesting. Actually, when I saw this, I had to look up the game and I wanted to see what it's about because, you know, it looks really neat. Very yeah. nice paint work. Uh, love the bases that uh, the First of Figures uh, uh, gives these characters. Looks really neat. Very cool stuff. Okay. All right. This is from the a company called Triforce. Uh, this is uh, Battletoads. Uh, very cool looking piece here. Um, but this is the Battletoads based on the, um, on the video, on the fighting game, uh, Killer Instinct. I guess he was in he was in that game. I didn't even know he was in that game. Mm. Uh, but yeah, really cool looking piece. Now Triforce also did some other statues recently. Uh, they did a um, a uh, an Assassin's Creed uh, that, that from the from the last game that just came out. I've been hearing mixed stuff about these guys. I mean, their their work looks amazing. Like, look at this. I don't even know who this guy is, and I and I want to get him because he just looks interesting. <laughs> you know. You know, he kind of reminds me of a Borderlands character. Kind of does, yeah. The yeah. monster, the teeth and everything. Yeah, he's neat, no, I'm man. talking about the dude riding there. Yeah. <laughs> really cool, man. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, what I heard about this company, 
is that uh, like right now the, some of the guys are that are, that have ordered the uh, the Assassin's Creed one, they're they're a little upset because they keep getting delays. Mm. You know, so you know I'm, I'm waiting to see one in hand before I pull the trigger on any of these uh, pieces. So, wow. um, but uh, really really cool looking stuff. All right, and then shifting gears to the other side of the world. This is uh, from uh, Shanghai uh, Comic Con. This is LB Studios display. Uh, I believe this is uh, the One Piece line that they that they have here. I'm not really familiar with this anime, um, but this thing looks massive. Absolutely. They have a picture of somebody holding this uh, this this hand or fist or whatever the hell this thing is, and it's literally you know it looks bigger than bigger than a basketball. This thing this thing is pretty pretty big. Uh, very awesome looking detail work. You know this is a very uh, bad picture here, but still uh, very cool work that they have going on. I love the dynamic look of their of their sculpts here. Um, very Pretty cool. cool. Yeah, they they all look really cool. You know, very cool stuff. Very vibrant color, bright yeah. colors. Excuse me. Yeah, bright colors, vibrant. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This one I, I know. This is the only one I know from that from that anime. Uh, Jinbei. What's that from? It's it's from the One Piece uh, uh, anime, mm. and it, it's pretty cool, man. I mean, I want to I want to see it, you know, and really you know, try to get a better feel for this. I really need to step up my anime game. Um, really cool stuff here. Very fun. Look at that guy. That guy's face looks amazing. <laughs> Very cool. Right. All right, and this is a Prime One Studios display. This is their uh, Robotech line that's going to be coming out. Um, looks fantastic. Looks, you know, very much like how their Transformers line came out. I think they do a real good job with these robots. Um, really nice stuff. Probably going to be humongous, just like the Transformers. Uh, but I do like that they went with a more dynamic display for these guys instead of just having them uh, standing still like uh, they did with the with the Transformers line. You know, I like that they have these you know, propulsion uh, and uh, uh, sculpts here, make it look like he's blasting off from the ground. Uh, really cool. Really digging that. So, yeah, man. very, very neat piece. Always love me some Transformers, bro. Yep. All right, and this is the uh, XM Studios Bane, uh, now painted. And this thing looks amazing. Uh, definitely a, a real good home run hit here for their uh, Night of the Rising Sun line. I love the texture work here and the armor and how it just, the whole thing just tells a story, which I think is amazing. I mean, XM Studios does an awesome job with that. Uh, very awesome, unique take on this character. You know, he looks like he's just destroying the whole base. That's just beast mode, bro. Yeah. Amazing. Really amazing. Look, I mean, look at the texture work here in the hoses. It looks real. I know, man. No, he looks like... I have, I have nothing negative to say about that. Nothing. It's beautiful. Beautiful work. And this is the now-painted Dr. Octopus. Uh, again, another real nice-looking piece here. Uh, very beautiful-looking uh, take on him. Daka. Yeah. It's pretty. They are doing a great job. And then this is their now painted uh, um, a Power Ranger. Uh, this at Singapore Comic Con was not painted. Couldn't tell which Ranger I was looking at, but you know now we know we're, we got the red one. And I think now that I see him, it looks even better. I think he looks even better than he did in the TV show. I love the uh, contrasting reds. Instead of it being just one all red, you know, you got like a nice dark red and a light red here, and then you know you got the gold, um, white, very vibrant. Love the pose. Uh, love that they make the helmet look. Nice and uh, shiny, so it looks you know like a like an actual metal helmet, which I think is really cool. Yeah, I know the the original one I saw, I wasn't too impressed, but this definitely, definitely, definitely is yeah. swaying me uh, the direction. And then I, the rock even I think has some kind of uh, um, like a fossilized uh, face to it, almost like I guess like a dinosaur, which that's really cool. Yeah, very neat. And then this is the um, the XM Studios uh, Dark Phoenix. Uh, wanted to get a little close up here on her face. Uh, beautiful face. This is probably one of my favorite faces on uh, for really like the way that came out. The flames in her hair. Uh, really nice. She looks gorgeous. Really nice looking piece here. How tall is the the Phoenix? I again I don't know. I wasn't there to to actually see this one. Mm. Um, but you know it's a piece. It's a quarter scale, so they're gonna be big. And was that Power Rangers XM? Yep. That's exclusive. Is it global license? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so for Power Rangers. I think the only thing they have for Global License right now is the DC. Mm. So that Bane you can get. Mm. Okay, and this was on uh, Ben Ang's uh, page. He changed his profile picture. So it's got everybody up in uh, uh, Roaring. So, it's, you know, we got Psylocke. So um, I mean, this is not an official announcement that they're making a Psylocke. But, you know, 
just pretty much is a hint that we probably are going to get a Psylocke here pretty soon. Uh, so that's that's going to be an awesome addition to the XM Studios line. Uh, really cool. Alright, and this is from Fison. Uh They've been making these Warcraft movie uh, statues. This is um, a... Losing my train. Uh, Hellscreen. Uh, Grom, Grom Hellscreen. Mm. Can't believe I forgot the guy's name. This is like my favorite dude from uh, from the actual uh, video games. Awesome character. Uh, they did, you know, Fison's been killing it with these big statues that they, they created. The, the details in it is insane. They come with an extremely high price tag, though. Uh, you know, these things are well over $1,000. Um, but awesome detail. You know, it's just amazing looking piece. All right, and this is from Imaginary Mart. This is the um, the uh, um, Transformers diorama. Um, Grimlock, yes, Grimlock. Yeah, it looks amazing. They did a great job on this one. Definitely made me stop. Uh, looking forward to seeing this one all painted up. Really cool. Love what they did with that. All right, so we're getting into cool customs. Um, so start off the cool customs. We Jubilee. got yeah Jubilee. This is from um, Avia. Nice. Yeah. It's cool looking. Oh yeah. I think they did a good job with it. Uh, I like that she's you know charging forward at you and you know she's got her little fireworks ready to kick off. I'm already hearing the cartoon in my head right now. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. You know I like the dynamic flow of the uh, of the uh, cloak that she has, jacket. Uh, very vibrant colors there. You know this is the pro uh, the uh, digital sculpt, so you know you're not gonna know what the final is gonna look like just yet. I like that they went with the uh, X Men uh, base. Um, you know, it doesn't take too much away from the uh, character, you know, mm -hmm. but it has a nice little feel to it and very, probably very easy to display. Yeah, no, that's um, good. Very cool. Although these fireworks look a little bit like flames, but still, you know, it still looks really neat. I mean, a nice job there. Another angle. That's true. It does look like flames. It does look a little bit like flames, but, you know, it's, a, it's you know, it's a take, so we'll, we'll see what it looks like uh, later, but, you know. Technically, fireworks is yeah. fire. Fire is flame. I guess is where it comes out from. Yeah, <laughs> true, true. But still, nice look to this one. All right, and this is a thrall uh, from uh, World of Warcraft. This is the more um, Warcraft three uh, version of him. These Warcraft um, statues. I love Warcraft, man. Mm -hmm. Warcraft is amazing. I think they should just take somebody should just take and go after all of Blizzard stuff and do it. I just, I love their, their line. And even Blizzard that does a great job with their stuff. I mean, it's amazing. This is done by uh, Luciano Ber Ber uh, Berruti. I hope I'm saying his last name right. Um, beautiful looking texture work here. This is just like I remember him from Warcraft 3. Um, love the armor, mm -hmm. the texture work here and the chain mail, the portrait. I mean, it's fantastic. Even the, the base, you know, with the Warcraft logo here, you know, etched into it like that, you know, mm -hmm. raised. You know, a nice wood appearance going around, and then you have that rock. Very makes, very much makes me feel like, you know, this is for the horde. You know, so I can, I just want to play the game now. <laughs> right. Um, nice stuff, man. Love the way they did those skulls. Yeah, really cool. Gets me gal geeked out. Anytime I see these Warcraft statues, and this is by Taurus Studios. This is another Warcraft inspired piece. Uh, this is called Many Eggs Handle It. Uh, I definitely, all right, I, I'm really interested in, in this one. Um, I saw this, or I showed you guys this uh, uh, some time back when it wasn't painted. Uh, now it's all painted up. Um, very nice look to it. It reminds me so much of playing the game because, you know, you see him here with the eggs running away from the uh, dragon. It reminds me of uh, the grinding days of playing World of Warcraft where you had to go and go grab, you know, a thousand eggs and bring it back to the mission giver. And that was just what the mission was. Uh, <laughs> So you can imagine how uh, boring that part of the game was, but uh, you know it had to be done to level up. So definitely a fun-looking uh, piece. Uh, reminds me of all that. Oh, very cool. Love what they did with this uh, blue here on the gray. Very nice. You know, really adorable looking piece. Right. And this here, man. This is the the man. This is um, this is a saber tooth. Um, the artist wants to remain nameless, so I don't have that information for you guys. Uh, this is based on the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom uh, video game. Uh, outstanding. You know, I, I, there's nothing more I can really say about that. They, they did an outstanding job with the look of this. It, it looks just like uh, the character from the video game. Um, and uh, it, it's amazing. Love what they did here with the hair. Uh, he just looks like a beast, you know, getting ready to attack. Even the profile looks good. Uh, just fantastic looking work. Um, Definitely something that, uh, definitely something I'd love to see on my shelf. It's really cool. 
very very cool stuff all right so that's what we have um, that's what we got for you guys uh, today uh, with uh, the pieces so um, you know again uh, if you're into all this stuff you like the show you know make sure you tune in for more of these type of episodes uh, John, did I miss anything? Uh, yeah, also for you newcomers, guys, uh, please uh, subscribe to the MC channel. Um, you know, Tell your friends about us. If you like the show, the Collecting News episode runs twice a week. Uh, once they're in the middle of the week, and then the live show will be on weekends. Um, and then don't forget to you know check out our playlist, catch some of our uh, more specific shows like the Marvelous Statues and the What's Popping, Seth. Hey. Um, other than that... Uh, you know, Tayo uh, was asking about the uh, White Magneto. I know we didn't get that one on this list. Um, was that on the last show? It was on the last show. On the last show, Tayo. Yeah, it was on the last show. The White Magneto is a very good-looking piece, man. Uh, I didn't include it in this one because I did talk about it on the last episode. Uh, and we had a lot of different images to go through on right. this one. So I talked a little bit more extensively in the last episode about that one. Uh, Beautiful-looking uh, job they did there. I love the way the white jumps off of that uh, uh, background base. It's... Agreed. I yeah. wasn't I wasn't too much of a white Magneto fan, and then I saw it. I was like, "Wow, that looks a lot better than I thought it would have looked." Yeah, right. So, um, agreed there. Yeah, really nice. So you know, we're gonna stay on for another five minutes or so for any answers, uh, any questions you guys have. Um, you know, anything uh, anything that you liked about the the ones that I saw was your favorite. Uh, my favorite of this episode would have to be the saber bro. Uh, yeah. Her um, that just looks just completely beast mode. Uh, you know, brings me back to that, that Marvel vs. Capcom game, bro. You know, when I finally took the reins or dropped my little brother card and started beating you in video games. He don't believe me, but it happened. It that happened. Happen. <laughs> I got friends. I'll bring, I'll bring, don't let me buy the game, bro. None of them were there. Mm. None of his friends were there. This is all in his head. <laughs> He's, He's lying. lying. He's lying. Hey. He sucks at video games. For real. I'm telling you the truth. Um, um, yeah. there, are there any... Um, well, Jeff was asking if there's any any uh, pieces we're picking up from this particular episode. From this episode, uh, like I said, I want to get that Iron Man Mark III. That's my uh, excited thing. I want to get this pa this coming week, so we're going to be having our sights on that one. Uh, depending on the cost of that one, uh, we are also looking at the uh, Spider Gwen from uh, Sideshow. Um, I do also have the XM Studios version on order, uh, so I'm kind of uh, want to get that to compare the two. So we have a quarter scale and a one fifth scale. I'm pretty sure I know which one is going to win, but uh, as far as uh, details, but I, I do think that that sideshow Spider Gwen is a very nice piece and uh, something that would work very well for people who don't have the space for these quarter scale statues. Uh, so you know, it's definitely a, a, def a nice in between the six and the quarter. So very cool. And uh, Sims was saying that uh, uh, Susan from Sideshow hinted that. Um they're extending the XM line with the Sentinel bases, All right? So, did you see that? Uh, no, I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that. So, so he, was cool. ask, he was asking uh, uh, who would we like to see on on one of those, and we had um, X Men. Yeah. Oh. Jesse said he'd like to see Mystique. Where do we start? Mystique, Mystique would be awesome. See, I'm thinking that they're going to do that. It's because the the art print came out recently, and that was the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. So you know, you had uh, Mystique on there. They had the Blob. Uh, they had uh, a Toad. Uh, so they, they had a lot of guys on there. So I'm thinking that we are going to see a lot of villains coming out here pretty soon, which is really cool. Uh, as far as the X-Men themselves, uh, would like to see a Bishop. Ooh, Bishop would be nice. That would be cool. We haven't seen that. You know, yes. that's something new. Uh, Gambit would be also be cool because, you know, my brother needs a Gambit statue. I so. do need a Gambit statue. I do mm -hmm. need to get one. That's that's the that's what's going to make it on so, my... That's the next piece I'm putting in my office, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So, so those, those are the, some of the guys that I would, that I would like to see. What did, what did they say? Did they have any people that, that responded with their... Um, we had a Juggernaut. That would, juggernaut. Yeah. Actually, he was on the painting too. See what I'm saying? So that would be kind of dope. They got a Juggernaut. I think Iron Studios. Iron Studios has a Juggernaut. Iron right? Studios has a Juggernaut, but it's a Juggernaut versus Wolverine. I'm talking about a Juggernaut all by himself. Ooh. You know? Uh -huh. And again, I would like to see Sideshow take and get these statues and make them kind of like what uh, Iron Studios did with their... Um, um, uh, what is it? The uh, Civil War series that just came out recently. You know, you have uh, the, uh, you had Captain America, uh, um, what's his name, uh, Black Panther, and um, uh, and Falcon. Okay. And then all of them uh, pieced together. Actually, it wasn't Falcon. Well, Winter uh, Soldier. Winter Soldier. That's okay. what it was. Winter Soldier. And all of these pieced together to make one 
a diorama or you could take and display them separately but you know that would be kind of cool if they decided to take these pieces and you know gave a little bit of thought into how we could display this all in one to make one scene you know make it look like a cover to a comic book or something i think that would be really interesting and jesse hell yeah nightcrawler nightcrawler exactly. yes that would be cool yes nightcrawler would be cool yes that's a good choice i would agree i would agree um well um, i mean yeah um, that's, yeah, that's that's good. It, I guess so. All right, guys. Uh, remember, guys, we're on uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and as always, the Collectorverse. You know, CV. Don't forget to catch the CV show as well. Yeah. Um, for sure. You know, we appreciate you guys. You know, sticking around with us. But um, until next time, right? Yep. Yeah. Right, See you guys next you. time.